you sounded so sure. I know she must have laid her hands on something to be that convinced. Father, she has laid her hands on nothing. Were you sitting with her? Yes, Father. What's going on between both of you? Well, she told me in confidence that the people of Iziama Kingdom have discovered precious stones. Precious stones? Yes, Father. What kind of precious stones? Well, she didn't tell me exactly what kind of precious stones. But those who are in stones have confirmed, Father, that indeed they are precious. And that the people of Iziama Kingdom will make a lot of money from those stones. In which portion of the land was it discovered? Father, she has not told me. Why the delay? She's making some demands that I didn't want to give in to, but, but I've accented to it, so everything's under control now. Yeah, what's she asking for? That is a very bad demand. Murder is a very serious offense in Igbo land. Especially when it has to do with that of a helpless woman. Well, Father, that's exactly what I told her. But she insisted. What are you going to do? Marry her. And throw Olaku out. That is never going to happen. Well, Father, I cannot afford not to possess those stones. We must do everything necessary. Father! From what you have said so far, you're not even sure the stones are found in our own land. Well, that is true. But until I find exactly where those stones are, I am not going with that thought. You are beginning to sound unpredictable. Do you have other plans? Yes, Father. Talk to me about it. Oh, Father. I would do anything and everything to ensure I possess those stones. Everything! And that would include invasion of the borders of Aziama people? Yes, Father. That will be an act of war. And I will never support that. Well, Father, I've heard about wealthy kingdoms. You have told me stories. Conquest is part of the strategy. If we must go to war to claim their land and have the precious stones, then, Father, so be it. My son. Listen. We have enjoyed a peaceful relationship with our neighbors, the Iziama people. And I'm not about to sacrifice that because of mere precious stones. So you better, better perish that thought. Ogi. Ogi. Ogi, listen to me. 
What is it? What is going on? What are you talking about? You have been avoiding me lately. What is going on? I have been busy. Busy? And I assume this busy you are talking about is with the prince. What do you mean by that? Come on, okay. I have my eyes on you. And I discover that you've been having secret meetings with the prince. Then again I ask, what is going on? I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you know what I am talking about. And I ask a question which deserves an answer. What is going on? One thing I heard a man is following me around. Now I ask, don't you have any other thing to do than following me around? Wow. It's obvious that you are practically deviating from the point of discussion. Well, I am not ready for this discussion right now. Excuse you... me. Okay. Okay. Which means the information I have concerning her mother is correct. I'm shocked, sure Papa. Information is very correct. <laughs> you know what that means. But honestly, Papa, the kind of life that her mother lived will not stop me from marrying her. I'm getting married to her and not to the mother. Which means you don't know the tradition and cultures of this land. And I'll be glad to educate you. Papa, spare me all that. Eh? Ujuma is a nice girl. Well mannered and cultured. Papa, she can never leave me for any other man. The crime we are dealing with here is the one rooted in blood. No matter how much she tries to hide it, someday in the future, it will certainly come out. Papa, I disagree with you. I totally disagree with you. I mean, we even have a saying that says, Ofunne namu, manufu That is to say, children of the same woman are of different destinies and chances in life. Mm -hmm. I agree with you completely. But the issue under discussion is different. Papa, it's not different. It's not different. You are just saying things that will make me grow weak towards my woman. And that is not fair. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I'm not expecting you to agree with me completely. But the bottom line is, you are not going to marry her. Papa, you didn't just say that. You heard me right. So start looking around for another maiden to get married to. What? I didn't just speak as your father. But as Ichi Eloka, the Okwa Nasanya of Umu Oganiwe Kingdom, I do not want any objections or arguments. Hey, Nana. I can see the ripple effect of your work. Good job. What do you intend to achieve? Don't bother about that, okay? <laughs> Do you realize you just destroyed that beautiful relationship? On the contrary, I saved Nabife from destruction. We both know Junwa is a good girl, and she would have made a good wife. Don't be too sure about that. Good wife is beyond physical look. She's only been judged by the actions of the mother. That alone is very wrong. People should be judged by their own actions. You know that. Don't preach to me. All I know is that Nabife will not marry that fool. Yes. Let me even ask you, what has she done to you that is so bad that you hate her this much? I never said I hated her. That question is unfounded. Yeah. Listen, my daughter. Crying will not solve the problem. <laughs> crying doesn't solve any problems. Stop crying, please. <laughs> Papa, why me? Why me? <laughs> it's okay, eh? It's okay, eh? I will see Nabife and I will talk with him, eh? I'm sure this matter will be resolved. Okay? Mama, I will kill myself. I will kill myself if Nabife does not marry me. I will kill myself. Why would you even think of that? Killing yourself for what? For who? 
Please don't go there. Don't even think of it. <laughs> eh? Life is too precious for you to you, you, just kill yourself for anything. No, please don't do that. Papa, eh? I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> If he insists on not marrying me, I will kill myself. If he insists on not marrying you, that means the gods do not support your marriage to him. Yeah? Papa, I've, I've invested so much energy and time in this relationship. He must marry me, oh. Nabife must marry me. Uh -uh. <laughs> Nabife marrying you is not a force. Eh? It's not by force. He, he, listen, you are not going to kill yourself. Eh? Life is too precious. To be tied to any man. How can you tie your life to Nabife? <laughs> Who is in Nabife? Papa, he's everything to me. He's not just any man. Nabife is not just any man. He's my world. <laughs> but you are not going to kill yourself for anything. Your life is much more precious, eh? Stop crying. And you will not kill yourself. Stop this. Eh? You know what? Whatever you think you're doing will not work. You know why? Because by creation, the gods have already destined Ujumwa to be my wife. <laughs> I don't expect you to say otherwise. Is it not you? Or soon you wake up to reality and come begging for my love. <laughs> now I see that you are a dreamer. And the earlier you wake up from this wild dream of yours, the better for you. There is something you seem to be forgetting. I belong to the class of women that get whatever they want, no matter how difficult it is. <laughs> well, you will not get this one. You will not. Even if you like, use all the charms in this world. You will not get this one. Far from it. I mean, the last thing I will do is to use charm on you. Our love is born out of natural feelings, and that it will remain. Well, we both will be alive to see how that played out. Now that you have chance, come and marry me. To fear! Pah! Me. Marry you. <laughs> Even if that happens in my dream, I will wake up and I will reject it. What has Ujuma given to you? You want to know? Yes. Well, let me tell you, Neka. She gave me respect, care, attention, which you could not give to me. Even as we speak right now, that inborn disrespect is still coming out from me. Why are you demanding so much from me when you have not given me a chance in your life? I have given you all the chances in the world, Neka. I have. But you already showed me that you are this woman that only dreadful men can manage. And I am not one of those men. And I will have nothing to do with you. Not in this life, not in the next time to come. With time, you'll Rubbish. come back begging for my love. Greetings. You don't look happy. What is the problem? You're part of my problem. You are my problem. How? What you're asking me to do is too much. You don't expect me to get rid of my wife because of you. That means you are not ready to know where the precious stones are found. Ask for something else. Ask me something else. Give me another demand. No. Okay, fine. I accept. Where can the stones be found? Slow down. Slow down, my prince. First, take her out of the way. Then I will know how serious you are. What do you mean, take her out of the way? What, what does that mean? Kill her. Kill your wife. Kill my wife. That's too much to do. It's too much for you to do? Come on, my friends. All I could should be turned off if you want me to give you the information you seek. Who 
Why are you still here? I am done with you, woman. How else can I say it? Pack your things and leave. <laughs> I knew it would come to this. I knew it. But before I go, can I, can I ask you a question? Don't have time for your questions. That's fine. I just want you to tell me what I have done wrong before I leave. I need you to tell me what did I do wrong. You have not given me a child. That is what you have been doing wrong. Did you get me pregnant and I refused to give you a child? I refused to carry your child? This is why I hate you. Full of excuses. You must find excuse in everything. Pack and get out. Listen. My love, listen, I am not making excuses. I just told you my truth. That's it. I don't have time for this argument, okay? Leave. You know, I... I never wanted you to regret anything. You see this? You will regret it. It's my regret to live with. May the gods judge you. I am prepared. You are happy now, right? Very happy. Then I have bad news for you. If I, Ujumwa, cannot have Nabufe, no one else will. Ujumwa, this sounds like a challenge to me. Call it whatever you want. I do not care. Ujumwa, you just challenged me. I swear on the gods, I will crush you. You won't dare. All right, so we shall see. I will be waiting. And this time, you need to know that this maiden is ready for you. I will match you one move for one move. One slap for one slap. And one deep cut for one deeper cut. Ujum, I promise you, we shall see. Bring it! Greetings, Father. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. Father, this is Ogechi, the maiden I wish to marry. You have decided to take a second wife? No, Father. I don't understand you. I know you already have a wife. A wife who lives with you in this palace. The wife who has cooked for me as a king and I've eaten her meal. And I have proudly said, wife of my son. Well, father, I understand all of that. But I sent her away earlier today. And I'm just hearing of it? My apologies, father. It's just that I cannot continue to tolerate her excesses. So, can you tolerate this one? Yes, Father, I can. I cannot deny you of anything as my beloved son. As long as she will make you happy and prosperous, I give you my blessings. Thank you, Father. Thank you. I am grateful. Thank you, Your Majesty. You are the man of the gods. Thank you, Father.
Are you okay, my princess? Do you need anything, my princess? My princess, why the sudden change of mood? This will be the very first time you will be blocking me. You did this because you feel you are the head of the maid, Sifenkele. Let this be the very last time. If this happens again, you won't like my reaction. These are boundaries between home organism and our people. My father told me that once you descend that hill, that you will get to Umoganigwe. Does it mean you have not seen them? Say what, my princess? We should please not interrupt the princess. She's gifted and it's possible she's seen things. I see them filtering into our land. So many of them. They're coming. Men determined to harvest what they did not cultivate. If that is the case, we should not be here, my princess. And that is the truth. This land already confirmed to be rich in precious stones. It's our land. And you shouldn't be here. I am the princess of Eziama Kingdom. Forget the fact that I am not here with Eziama warriors. It is suicidal for you to stay on this land and lay claim to it. What have you just done? Showing you that we are not joking. You just killed a maiden of Eziama Kingdom. You are not. This is just a warning. We are coming. We will suck you from Izama and take what we want. So, my daughter, mm -hmm. can you tell us exactly where the land is located? Yes, Your Highness. The land at the boundary between Izama and our kingdom, Your Highness. I know the place. And that is where the precious stones are located. You have done well, my daughter. And you'll be adequately rewarded at the end. Thank you, Your Highness. But there is no reward bigger than getting married to the Prince of Omoganigwe Kingdom. Consider yourself my son's wife. I've already given my blessing. Thank you, Your Highness. You are one of a kind. You're the one with the precious information. And I consider you an asset the reality. My love, let's go to my chamber. I have something important to discuss with you. Father, please permit us. Permission granted. Thank you, Father. It is now obvious that your marriage with Ujunwa will never work. Papa, I am not ruling marrying Ujunwa out, Papa. I'm not. This is a, a reality you must face, son. The earlier you start looking for another maiden to get married to, the better. Papa, it is either Ujungwa or nobody else. You are beginning to sound like someone on the spell, son. And I can never take it. <laughs> Far from that, Papa. I'm not under any spell. You have lost your sense of good reasoning, and someone has to call you back to order. Papa, nothing is wrong with me. Nothing is wrong with me, Papa. Papa, you are condemning a girl that has done nothing to you, just because of the kind of life her mother lived. We have had this discussion before, and I don't want to revisit it. On the contrary, Papa. We have to revisit it. We have to because... You're taking a stand that is not favorable to me. Then make that stand favorable to you. Start making up your mind to either go back to Neka or get another maiden to get married to. Papa, if this is about Neka, then I'm sorry to disappoint you, Papa. 
it will never, ever work. Then get another maiden. Find another maiden. There are maidens everywhere. Get one and get married to her. Papa, I don't need any other maiden. It is Ujumwa that I want. And Ujumwa I must get. It is either I marry Ujumwa or I remain single for the rest of my life. I'm sorry, Papa. I have something to do inside. If you may excuse me. Hmm. She just became a different person so suddenly. Can anyone tell why the sudden change in her? I don't know. Should we not go to her and find out? But why should we? You just heard the instructions she gave. Something is wrong with her. Exactly what I am thinking. Something is definitely wrong with her. As you've confirmed that something is wrong with her, should we not be with her? I was observing her. She got transported into another room while she was standing with us. Are you sure the princess has not become an easy one and we don't even know? I don't believe so. She is troubled. That is why she has been feeling very disturbed. That is one fault I find with her. She should tell people around her what troubles her. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Good. So good to see you. Good to see you too, my love. Uh, you know what? I've been thinking. Thinking? Yes. About what? About our love and our best to achieve our dreams of living our lives together as lovers, you know? <laughs> Great. So, talk to me about it. Okay. I think we should elope. Oh. Yes, let's, let's go to a faraway kingdom, a place where you and I can live our dream together, being husband and wife, without any disruption, without anybody interfering in our lives. I think that is great. I never thought about it like that. Okay, does that mean you like the idea? Of course I love the idea. <laughs> Look. That is exactly what we are going to do. Okay. Alright, so when do we move? Um. Okay, two days from today will be perfect. Beautiful, beautiful. You know, so, um, that will give us enough time to prepare before leaving. Okay, I think I should hurry and go stop back in the ready, we'll right? right? See, come here. <laughs> it is real. Very real. What is it? The war I see in my dreams. It is real. As a matter of fact, it is in our boundary. You are confusing me. What exactly are you talking about? I am talking about the war that I see in my dreams. We have to rise as those in positions of authority and stop this war. If we do not stop it, it will destroy this land. When you told your father about your dream, what did he say? As usual, he treated it with levity. Mother, I know what I have seen in my dreams. It was brutal. Men and women of this kingdom will lose their lives. My daughter, I will talk to your father. 
It is necessary that you talk to Father. If we do not do anything about this, we will not be able to stand what is to come. It's okay. I will talk to him. On a second thought, I know whom I will talk to. Who? You know him. I will talk to him. He is the only one who can solve this problem. Princess! Adeze! Now we know the exact land where the precious stones are located. Next step, Father, would be to take out Obichi. Take out, you mean, terminate her life? Yes, Father. Are you ready for it? Father, a man targeting a bright future must be prepared for anything. I am prepared. <laughs> My son has become a man. But before we take her out, we must confirm the existence of the precious stones on the land. If Anada must be killed, she must not be killed for nothing. Yes, Father. What would you suggest? You take our youths to that land and they'll all be under your supervision. Then we confirm the existence of the precious stones. If they really exist, then you take our men of war to safeguard that land and deprive the people of Asia from having access. Then we can silence Ogechi forever. Father, permission to proceed immediately. No. The sun has gone down. We do that first thing tomorrow morning. Yes, Father. Oyendozi. My princess. I came to you because you remain the only one who will understand this and act accordingly. What I saw was real. Bloodshed is coming. We need to do everything possible to avoid it. First of all, I must acknowledge that my princess is blessed with the gift of seeing beyond ordinary eyes. I remember when I was at Oka to learn blacksmith, people like you were referred to as Ndina Fuzo, people who see far. You see, and they were respected by everyone. So, I thank you very much for coming to me with this. Uh, I promise you we are going to do something about it. I know I can trust you with this. Yes, but we need to wait for direction. How do you mean? Uh, you know, matter of this nature, do not need consulting the gods. I don't know what that means. Is it like consulting the gods? Go ahead and do so. I am sure they will reveal the way forward. My princess, matters of this nature do not need consulting the gods. How do you mean? All right. Did you consult the gods before you saw what you have seen? No. In the same vein, I am not going to consult them until they reveal it to me. That's like folding our arms and waiting for war to fall on us. Oyendozi, I know what I saw. It was very disastrous. Lives will be lost. Houses will be brought down. The gods will not allow that to happen to us. Um, all this and I thank you very much for bringing it to my notice. Thank you very much. 
I have to take it up from here. Why are you making something out of nothing? Why? Onyese, what the princess saw is real. You have to follow it up to avoid being at the receiving end. Should war break out tomorrow? Listen, I am the king. And I am telling you here and now that no war is going to break out. She saw your mother's death and told you about it. Onyese, what did you do? Listen, what are you driving at? Could it be you have been the one who is engineering my daughter with unguided tales? Prompting her now to start thinking of doing unimaginable things? There are no tales, Onyese. She saw the death of your mother, told you about it. You said nothing. At the end, what happened? Your mother died exactly the way and the time she predicted it. She also told you about the elders. We were working hard to dethrone you. And you said a thing like that will never happen. What happened at the end? You almost lost your life. If not because of the gods, who were so merciful to you. You would have been dead by now. How else do you want her to present it to you? Well, let me just tell you something. I don't know, I don't know where you're coming from. But are you possibly asking me to go to war with the people of Umo I never said so. All I ask of you is to take precautionary measures to defend our land should war break out tomorrow. Well, I want you to understand that war is not going to break out. You see, the people of Umo they are like our brothers and our sisters. And the last thing on their minds will be to go to war with us. How else am I going to explain this for you to understand it? Onyese. It baffles me when you rule at war against the people of Umoganibe. It baffles me! Well, I need you to understand something. You see, the king of Umoganibe, he is my very good friend. And we have a high level of understanding. So there is no way that man will move his people to go to war with us. Why can't you understand this? Onyeze, let it not be that you are succumbing to defeat thereby digging the grave of our people indirectly. Listen, I am not succumbing to any defeat. And I am not digging any grave for our people. I need you to understand where I am coming from. You will see, eh? The king of Umoganiwe is my very good friend. Yes, my very good friend. And I hold him in a very high standard. And we have a very high level of understanding. There is no way that man will go to war with us. We may not be sure, as we do not know much about precious stones. But I feel those stones are not ordinary. Yes, we can get the stones and take them to Anicha and confirm if they are exactly what they call them. That won't be necessary. We can be exposed to harm. I mean, we can be killed right here. Look at our kingdom and look at the kingdom we are now. Exactly my point. I see no reason we should be here. It is not safe here. We may get into trouble. Have I not been vindicated? I told you this boy who claims to know too much should not be part of this mission. Did you think I crossed this hill just to come here and listen to this rubbish? This is not our kingdom. Jealousy has always been your problem. And it is still your problem. You know what? All I have achieved in this life, you will never achieve all your miserable life. <sighs> there is nothing that you have achieved. Precious stones have been found in this land. And our prince have sent us to get it. This is not our land. And so, what? By the time we have mined these precious stones, what are we going to do with them? We do not have the knowledge to turn them into anything else. We don't also have the market to sell these precious stones. We'll find the market and stop saying things that will force me to slap you. What? You'll slap me for telling you the truth? We are beginning the process that will consume us and we need to be very, very careful. I said enough! I need all of you to understand that something big is coming. All these fears you're entertaining has been taken care of. The gods has given us this land for our prosperity. And we must protect it at all costs. I am not part of them. If I must die, I will lay down my life for this. And I will not die for nothing. Shouldn't we be telling ourselves the truth? This land in question belongs to Asian people and not to us. Why are we seeing our prosperity tied to our man's land? It's not our land. Let us leave this place. I don't like troubles. 
if we must succeed, this fool must not come with us. Can't you people listen to the rubbish he's saying with his mouth? Adeze. Adeze. Mother, what is it? The people of Umoganigwe are already positioning for war. And we are doing nothing. You saw it again? They are so determined, Mother. They are seeing what we are not seeing. And they will stop at nothing until they succeed. But is it realistic that the people of Umoganigwe will wipe us out like that? I do not know, Mother. But we have to do something to avert this. Else, Eziama Kingdom may cease to exist as a kingdom. And the people of Umoganigwe are the ones to see to that? I may not know, Mother. But what I know is that war is already coming and the people of Umo Ganigwe are ahead of us. Hey, my daughter, I will talk to your father. Okay. Father does not understand what I see. He sees it as one of my dreams. It's okay. I will talk to him. Mother, it is not just talking to him. Action has to be taken. I will compel him to do something. Please. This is a confirmation. This is a confirmation that a parasol stands on that land. Yes, Father. So what next? We get Ogechi out of the way. And then we move and get the rest of the stones. Good idea. But I want you to know, there's every tendency that war may break out in our efforts to secure pressure stones. Father, I am aware. I am prepared. Good. I want you to put our soldiers on alert. Should we have any resistance from the Asiama troops? Yes, Father. So when exactly do we move in to recover the rest of the stones? Once you get to get you out of the way, let me know. Yes, Father. <laughs> My predecessors went to war over women. Women that don't bring in wealth. If I go to war for precious stones, I will bring wealth to this kingdom. Then it's a just war. <laughs> Ugochi, of all you are thinking, don't you ever think that you won the battle. I am already a winner, Olak. So go home and lick your wound. Really? He is my husband. And there's no way that I will allow you to succeed with him. I would never. <laughs> he was. Was your husband. And that is how it's going to remain. My dear. You just said it. Husband. And you do not know how far that I'm willing to go. Mm. To get all that belongs to me. And who cares? Who cares how far you are willing to go? Olaku. 
He was my man. <laughs> you took him from me. All I did is take back that which belongs to Your me. Your irresponsible way of life made him leave you. Wash I just me. told you my truth. Because everybody in this community knows how irresponsible you are. What you re represent, we all know that. Fine. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm very happy you already know what I represent. So, do not stand my way. Because if you do, I will so crush you and move on. <laughs> She's actually forgetting something here. You think I am still that little and naive lacko that yeah. you usually intimidate? The answer is no. Yeah. She's not. You see? Hmm. <laughs> But that means um, you are confidently joining the battle line because you think you have arrived? I am not afraid of you. I will comfortably go to war with you, knowing full well that I will come out victorious. You sure about that? Very sure. Fine. We shall see who wins. And I'll be here waiting for you. No problem. My princess, I am not dismissing your revelation. But the gods of Aziyama have not revealed anything to me. I don't know why that is, but I am very sure of what I have been seeing. I believe in vision. I believe in dreams. What I'm saying is that the gods of Aziyama have not revealed to me what you have seen. Until they reveal it to me, my hands are tied. There's nothing I can do. There is a lot you can do about it. Act based on the information I have revealed to you. We may be able to prevent what is to come. There's no need acting based on information you have given to me. I am a man of the gods. They need to reveal this thing to me. So that whenever I'm talking about it, I talk about it authoritatively, my princess. We may just wake up one day and realize that the people of Umuaganigwe have sacked us from Eziyama. Well, if the gods of Eziyama have not approved of it, it will never happen. So the best thing to do is for us to wait for them. Oyendozi, I am disappointed at your delay approach. I was thinking you will rise immediately and do something about this. My princess, there's no need being disappointed. You see, when men move ahead of the gods, they move straight into troubled waters. We got a message and we decided to come as quickly as possible, my prince. That's good. I have a task for both of you. We have done jobs for you, my prince. This wouldn't be an exception. I'm pleased. So, my prince, what is the task all about? I need you to kill Ogechi. You mean Ogechi, your wife to be? Yes. How soon can you get it done? It depends on how soon you need it, my prince. If you can get it done today, I will be most pleased. In that case, consider it done today. I shall reward both of you heavily. Uh, Keep that in mind. You have nothing to worry about. One more thing. Do not allow anyone to see you as you carry out your task. Am I clear? Yes, my prince. We don't have to worry about that, my prince. We know how to go about it. Okay, why would you do something like that? Your king was very greedy. 
I only opened a new channel. <laughs> Did you say channel? Listen, Ogi, the precious stone we are talking about was found in Iziama Kingdom, not Umuoganigui. Yes, I know. If you know that, then why did you tell your king? The question should be, what do I stand to gain? You stand to gain absolutely nothing! No. No, my dear. <laughs> I stand to gain a lot. Come on, Ogi. Listen, they may have made a lot of promises to you. But I will categorically tell you that they are deceiving you. Nobody's deceiving me. <laughs> the prince has promised to marry me and throw me into everlasting wealth. <laughs> wait, please, wait. It's like, it's like I, 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 I didn't hear you well. You mean the prince promise to marry you? How? Yes. <laughs> he promised to marry me. What happened to our love? I, 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 are you, you going to throw what we share together away like that? Okulondu, my friend. <laughs> the truth is that I have moved on. And there is nothing you can do to stop me. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to believe that this is what you would do to me after everything I've done for you. Now you have known the truth. I will advise you to move on, okay? Excuse me. Okay, okay. Okay, we can talk about this. Okay, please! You don't look happy. What is the problem? <sighs> Can I confide in you? Sure. We have always confided in each other. Look, you are the first and only person I'm going to be telling this. So please, you are beginning to scare me. Which you know why I, I hope there is no problem. to elope with Nabuife. Why? I mean, he will soon get married to him, so why can't get off eloping with him? His father has said he won't marry me. Why? I don't know. It's a long story. Look, you've known me. You can confide in me. So that we'll, together we'll find a lasting solution to the problem. Ijama. It's not a story I'm ready to tell today. You've known me. You can confide in me. Together we'll find a lasting solution to the problem. Oh. How will I start telling the story? Don't worry, my daughter. He is going to marry you. If you do this for me, Papa, I swear by the gods to remain a humble wife to your son forever. I know you will, my daughter. Yes, Papa. That is why I will do everything within my power to make sure he marries you. Thank you, Papa. So, Papa, have you eaten? No, my daughter. Why, Papa? Uh, don't worry yourself. Uh, don't worry yourself. I will be fine. So, Papa, what do you want to eat? Let me quickly go and prepare it before leaving. Don't bother yourself, my daughter. I will be fine. Papa insists. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, porridge jam with scent leaf will be good for me. Okay, Papa. Let me quickly go and prepare it. Okay, my daughter. <laughs> uh, if you check at the back of the odo, you'll find the yam. Uh, okay, okay, my daughter. <laughs> 
Aha! Uh -huh. When you see a woman that will make your son a good wife, you will know them. But that's not enough reason the man should said his son will not marry you. John, I don't know. I've tried to make this man understand that I'm different from my mother. But he doesn't want me to marry his son. Before now, have you been having issues with this man? Yeah, bear corner. This man used to really like me, oh. I don't, I don't know why he just changed. So, why the sudden hatred? I don't know. I don't know. This is where your father comes in. You think my father has not spoken to him? My father has gone to speak with him. But he still insists that his son is not going to marry me. Which is why I'm considering eloping with Nabufe. Eloping with him is not the best option. <sighs> My dear, that's the only option for me because I've invested so much into this relationship and I'm not ready to lose out. What about Nabufe? I mean, what is he saying in all this? Thank the gods. Nabufe is with me. In fact, he has been my source of strength. You know, Ijoma, it's in this kind of situation that you know if a man marrying you truly loves you or not. Nabufe has shown to me that he's, he's the right man for me. You're right. But for now, I want you to cancel the idea of eloping with him. Why you wait and watch and see if the man will change his mind. Ijoma, you don't know this man. It doesn't look like he's ready to change his mind on this. Trust me. He is human. You cannot say for sure what he will do next. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Enough, enough. Majesty. Greetings. Great, noble, gallant use of our land. I have a very simple task for all of you. <laughs> we have an idea already, but it will be an honor to be briefed by the king. My son will have shown you that land. From today onwards, you must protect that land with all your lives and prevent anybody from Asia my kingdom from having access to the land. That is a simple task to undertake, your majesty. From what I know, Onyezi, do not say anything, for you are not a man of war. You're not going to prevent me from speaking my mind. You have nothing to say rather than to discourage us. You're a man of negative thoughts, and we don't need you in this mission. Oh, youths. Please, let him speak. All I'm saying is that the land in question belongs to the people of Eziama. Why do you want to take it from them? <laughs> I have been vindicated, Onyezi. I told you this man is a coward. That is why I never wanted him to speak. I am the king of Omoganigwe. And all lands belong to me. Including that which I seek. So that is our land. And that is it. I'm sending all of you out to go and safeguard that land. What happens if we get there and there are other people interested in the land? You have my express order to kill Mem and destroyed anyone or group of persons from having access to that land. That settles it, Your Majesty. We need weapons. My son, the prince, will provide all the weapons needed. Yeah,